Hi, today we present WarpGAN, Automatic Caricature Generation. We have built a tool that takes in your photos and converts them into caricatures. Simply upload an image and you can have caricatures with diverse styles and varying exaggerations. WarpGAN needs to do three things. Number one, generate artistic texture styles that is different from normal photos. Number two, exaggerate the face with geometric deformation. And three, keep the characteristics of the given face to make it still identifiable. So how does WarpGAN work? The framework is simply composed of two modules, a deformable generator, which can both change the texture of the input image and deform the image to change the shape of the face, and a discriminator that distinguishes between both the texture of real caricature and generated caricature, and the texture photos, while preserving the identity. The generator in WarpGAN has a pair of conventional encoder and decoder network to render the texture of the input image to make it look like a caricature. An extra network module called Warp Controller predicts a number of control points and their displacements to warp the image. A differentiable warping module computes the dense deformation flow of the pixels via thin plate interpolation to deform the rendered image. The texture style is conditioned on a latent vector S by using adaptive instance normalization in the decoder. During training, a style encoder would also be trained to reconstruct the images. Two types of adversarial losses are computed from the discriminator. The patch adversarial loss takes the last feature map as the input and distinguishes between the visual style of the photo, real caricature, and fake caricature. The global adversarial loss takes a compact feature vector from the fully connected layer and distinguishes not only the visual styles, but also the identity in the input image. The details of the loss functions can be found in our paper. At the end, we have three losses, two adversarial losses that we have just mentioned, and a reconstruction loss that ensures that the content information is not lost by the generator, and it helps to stabilize the training. The generator is trained end to end, the warping module is updated based on the signals from the adversarial losses. For training and evaluation, we obtained a publicly available web caricature dataset, comprising of around 6,000 caricatures and photos of 252 celebrities. We split the dataset in half for training and testing. Now for the fun part. Here are some results comparing our method to other style transfer networks such as CycleGAN and UNIT. Style transfer methods merely translate the style of the caricature while completely disregarding the exaggerations. In comparison, WarpGAN is able to change both texture and the shape of the input face. Also because style transfer networks try to compensate for large shape differences between caricatures and photos via texture, their output often has worse visual quality on this task. Note that all input images and identities in the results section are from the test data only. Here we compare WarpGAN to other caricature generation methods. We find that WarpGAN not only well preserves the identity, but also generates aesthetically pleasing caricatures with proper exaggerations. WarpGAN also allows the user to control the extent of exaggeration by scaling the displacement of the control points. WarpGAN not only works great for celebrity photos, but also works extremely well for personal selfies. Thank you for watching. Please visit our poster session for a live demo as well as the link to the demo. Thank you.